Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to use Endpoint Security Firewall Rule Migration Tool to migrate Windows Firewall Rule to Intune. Endpoint Security offers rich management experiences of Windows Firewall configuration and granular firewall rule management. It can be challenging to move large numbers of existing group policies for Windows Firewall rules to endpoint security policies in Intune. For this, Microsoft has created the Endpoint Security Firewall Rule Migration Tool, which is a PowerShell script. We need to run the Endpoint Security Firewall Rule Migration Tool on a reference machine to migrate that machine's current Windows Firewall rule configuration. When run, the tool exports all enabled firewall rules that are present on the device and automatically creates new Intune policies with the collected rules. After the endpoint security rules are created, administrators can target the rules to Azure AD groups to configure Intune Manage Clients. Let's go to our Windows 10 device. Sign into the reference machine with local administrative privilege. We are using this Windows 10 device as a reference machine. Open Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. For that, open Run Menu, type wf.msc and press Enter key. Click on Inbound Rules. We have created few rules for testing purpose. Double click on Allow RDP Connection from Local Subnet Rule. Click on Protocols and Ports. We can see this is for TCP port number 3389. Click on Scope. This inbound rule will allow RDP sessions from a local subnet. 172.18.72.0/24 We have also created two outbound rules Click on outbound rules and these two rules will block internet access in Internet Explorer web browser We want to export these rules to Intune using endpoint security firewall migration tool in the first step, we need to download the Endpoint Security Firewall Migration Tool. Open Microsoft Edge Web Browser, type this URL and press Enter key. This will start downloading the script for us. File has been downloaded successfully. Let me close Microsoft Edge Web Browser. Open File Explorer and go to Downloads. The zip file contains the script export firewall rules ps one Right-click on export firewall rules zip file, select extract all. Click on extract. We can see the PowerShell script name export firewall rules. Let me copy the script path. Now open Administrator Elevated PowerShell window. Let's right click on Start button and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Click on Yes. Type CD and paste the script location path. Press Enter key. Press Enter key to run Export Firewall Rules script file. Depending on our execution policy, we may need to lift the execution policy to execute the same delete successfully. And we are getting an error about the same. Tap this same delete and press enter key to lift the execution policy. Now again run export hyphen firewall rules of PowerShell script. Let's press enter key. We are getting a security warning. Type R and press enter key to run the script once. As the script runs, it prepares several prerequisites, including 
installing the Indian PowerShell SDK and import Excel module which is obtained from the PowerShell gallery. We may therefore be asked to confirm steps such as installing and importing the NuGet provider. And here we can see the prompt for installing and importing the NuGet provider. Type Y and press Enter key to install NuGet provider. Installing Microsoft Graph package. This will take some time to install the required components. Currently, it is installing Import Excel module from PowerShell Gallery. Once all the prerequisites installed on this reference machine, we will be prompted to provide credentials. We need to sign in as a global administrator or Intune administrator or endpoint security manager. We will use our global administrator's credentials to sign in. Click on use another account. Type the username mwadmin at msfsurat v2.onmicrosoft.com Click on Next. Type the user password and click on Sign In. If you haven't run Indian PowerShell before, it will ask for consent to access your environment. Managing Intune using PowerShell requires OAuth permissions for an app called Microsoft Intune PowerShell. These rules have permission to allow that app the ability to get the privileges it needs such as right to Intune policies. So select the checkbox and click on accept to give the required permissions. After successful login to Intune with required permission, the migration tool will ask us to enter a profile name. This is the identity of the firewall rule profile in Intune. Type test hyphen firewall export rules. Now press enter key. Telemetry can optionally be sent to Microsoft if the import hits any problems. With this also reported back to us and stored as a spreadsheets in a logs. Type Y and press enter key. Total three rules are imported into the endpoint security firewall rule profile named test firewall export rules. We can check the logs on given path for more information. Total three rules and this is the path from where we can find logs for more information. So firewall rules has been successfully migrated to Intune. To confirm it, go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager to review the profiles created. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Firewall. In this example, the profile Test Firewall Export Rules was created successfully in Intune. The number at the end of the policy name increase incrementally if we have over 150 rules on the reference device. For example, if there are 175 rules, a second policy containing 25 rules will also be created with number 1. Click on our profile name which is Test Firewall Export Rules 0. Under Manage, click on Properties. Edit Configuration Settings. We can see only the rules we specified in our group policy are imported and the hundreds of default are not. That's because the defaults will already exist on Intune managed devices. However, if you want to include them in your Intune policy, you can use 
hyphen include local rule switch to include all locally created and default windows firewall rules in the export use of this switch can result in a large count of included rules there is one more switch with the name hyphen included disabled rules with this switch we can include all enabled and disabled windows firewall rules in the export let me add it allow rdp connection from local subnet rule click on add it if you want you can add it the rule from here as well this is the name direction is inbound action type is allow and here we have the configured remote address range which is our local subnet 172.1872.0/24 protocol is tcp and local port is going to be 3389 so if you want to modify any settings after the import you can do it from here let me close it and let me click on cancel to close this page as well remember by default the firewall rules policy created in endpoint manager will not be assigned to any groups so let's assign this profile to our test device group named test to win client click on edit assignments click on add groups and from the list we will select our group test to win client click on select and click on review plus save click on save we can see the confirmation message profile updated successfully to see the result let's go to a windows 10 device this windows 10 device is member of our targeted device group taste win client first of all we will initiate the manual sync with intune click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete Okay sync has completed successfully sometime it will take a while to apply the policy on our windows devices to see the result quickly we are restarting this windows 10 device after restart let's again sign into this windows 10 device open windows defender firewall and advanced security snap in by running wf.msc command from the run menu expand monitoring and click on firewall here we can see the firewall rules which we have in intune firewall profile we have the rule allow rdp connection from local subnet and we have the other two rules to block internet explorer one for x64 and second for x86 we can also see the direction these two rules have a outbound direction and this rule has a inbound this means firewall rules are created successfully on our windows 10 device using intune firewall rule policy remember we have exported that intune firewall rule policy using endpoint security firewall rule migration tool We also want to confirm the same thing from Intune portal. But before we do that, let me initiate the manual sync with Intune, so we can have the updated information in Intune portal. Okay, the sync was successful. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. On the monitor, click on Device Status. We can see the Windows 10 device which succeeded assignment status. After our rules are successfully rolling out, we should remove the group policy objects from Active Directory if you are still targeting them. That's all for this video on how to use Endpoint Security Firewall Rule Migration Tool to migrate Windows Firewall Rule to Intune. We have also checked the result. by applying the firewall rules profile on our test device which was successful thank you all for watching this video have a nice day